in, in, I guess, a minute or less. How, how can you summarize what it took for you to get back to this point? <sighs> well, a lot of work, um, a lot of sacrifice, um, a lot of faith in God, and uh, a lot of leaning on uh, my supporter family and friends. So I'm just grateful. You know, I kept, kept the right mindset through it all. Um, I could have took the easy road out, but I didn't. And, um, you know, I found myself back here, um, which a place I consider home. And I'm just happy to have the opportunity, you know, to go back on the field and continue my dream. How much fun are you having? I mean, what, when you got here originally, you were a big time free agent, you know, yeah. high expectations. And you know, last year you're on the practice squad. And yeah. you know, now that you're in this position, again. Yeah, it's, I mean, first and foremost, it's pretty humbling. Um, you know, you, you start off, you, like you said, I was a high, high end free agent coming in and then you know, you end up on the practice squad uh, on another on another team in San Francisco. Then you come over here where you were a high end free agent, and you're on practice squad again. But I took it all in a stride because, uh, like I said, I'm just grateful. You know, I, I figured out and I got to experience what it's like to have the game taken away from me. You know, 2020 was the first year I've ever missed football in my life since I played uh, since I was five years old. So um, it was a tough journey, but like I said, I'm just happy and. I mean, what more? What better situation could I be in than this one? What did keep you going through that process? Just, just the ability to understand that I love this game with all I got. Um, you know, that just kept kept my drive in it. Um, you know, when I was when I was watching everyone play, I think that gave me even more hunger in 2020. Just watching the teams, I'm like, I think I still got some 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 gas in there in the tank. So. Um, I was able to come out at the end of the year last year and, and prove that, you know, I could still make a play or two here and there. Tony, what are your impressions with safety group, Marcus, Chuck, and uh, Kyle Hamilton? Uh, my scouting report is we got um, all safeties who can start on, you know, all around the league. Um, it's a pleasure going to work with them every day, um, being able to pick, pick, pick each other's brains. Um, you know, Marcus Williams in particular, just a guy who knows football really good at um, understanding the game, you know, I could pick his brain a lot. Uh, he's, you know, we sit next to each other in meetings, so um, we have the ability to kind of pick, like I said, just pick each other's brain and and, and see what each other's thinking. So, um, you know, it's a great situation. I think for all of us, just to the fact that we're able to learn from each other, and like I said, I think each and every one of us has um, starter ability in the league. Hey Tony, obviously you talk about a pretty loaded secondary. How challenging is for you to give your best? And is this like a Tony Jefferson 2.0 coming back to this year. Yeah, it's a it's a whole new feeling. Like I said, I don't know if it's because um, you know I don't know what it is, but I just feel like refreshed and and, and brand new, uh, fresh fresh slate. You know, just coming out here worry free, just out here like you said, just having fun, enjoying the moment, and uh, you know I'm not too concerned to worry about uh, all the other stuff. You know that that can get in your mind and create negative thoughts. I'll just come out here with the positive mindset, uh, bring positive energy to everybody uh, on the team, and, and just go from there. Okay, what, do you, what do you expect Thursday night? Do you, do you expect to play several series? Or oh, I hope so. I hope so. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure you know I'll get a good amount of plays in there. I can't wait to get out there and you know play, play, play fast. Um, you know, make some plays, um, show my worth, really. You know, so I'm I'm not shying away from that. You know, I want I want that. So. Hey, you mentioned Marcus Williams. You guys kind of picking each other's brains. You know what it's like to come here as a you know free agent, big time like acquisition, just like he's going through right now. How do you think he's kind of handled all that comes comes with that new assignment? Uh, it's not as easy as you think because you know, especially like like I was. I we he was with one team, you know, prior to this. So you're kind of used to, you know, that that uh, regiment that you had over there, then you're coming to a new predicament, you know, with a bunch of new people that you don't really know and stuff. But um, luckily here, everybody's pretty outgoing and accepting, you know, not just from the player standpoint, from everybody in the building. So it makes it a little easier coming in here. But um, like I said, it's just a lot of things are different scheme wise, um, you know, different stuff. So uh, I just try to be there for him as much as possible because I know Weddle was able to help me out, you know, being here. So I try to, I, um, give him some of the thoughts that I, I got from Little. Hey, Tony, you started your career in Arizona. You played those four years there for those four years. You said that this is home. What makes this home versus where you started? Uh, there's just – I could go on for hours of why, um, you know, this why I consider this place home. But um, 
when you when you, when you know it's home, you just know it's home, and you know you just have that feeling. I'm just com being comfortable, you know, being being around everybody, uh, knowing that everybody truly cares uh, about you, um, not just on the field but off, and just having the ability to have the resources if you need help with anything, and just a family-oriented uh, deal that we got going on here makes you feel like family. I think so. Um, I think it. I think it. It does matter. I think um, you know, preseason is very important. You know, especially for for young guys and then guys in my position who are trying to show that they still got something in there. So uh, it's, I think you have to turn it on. You know, once once it's game time because this is it's life or death, really. You know, for for a lot of guys, you never know what's going to happen after. You can't just assume you're going to get, if things don't work out here, you're going to get picked up somewhere else. So uh, you just want to put put out uh, the best tape you can possible. So uh, this 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 uh, last week before the game, um, you really just want to hone in on your technique, make sure you have the uh, the plays down so you can go out there and play fast. Just last one, please. This, this team has won 20 straight now in the preseason. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Is it something? Why do you think this team has always currently been so good? Uh, well, I think. It starts with preparation. I think we prepare, um, you know, just with, with, with the way we practice. Um, you know, we, when we go out there, we really got to hone in on the details. And everything we do is, is 100%. You know, we want to run to the ball. We want to uh, really kind of, if you make a mistake, correct the mistakes and not be a repeat offender. And, you know, a lot of times that stuff can go through one ear and out the other, but it's true. So you, as long as you're not making the same mistakes, I feel like that gives you the ability to play fast. And I think that's kind of the main key when you go out in preseason game, just play fast. You know, there's, it's not like a big game plan in that you really have to study or game plan against the other team. So it's pretty vanilla. So go out there, play fast. And, you know, that's, that's what I'm hoping to do on Thursday night. Thank you, Tony. Appreciate All right, guys.